Hello everyone, I'm Catherine Desina Saplin and welcome to Book Discuss, where I read essays from They Only Laugh Later and share my own experiences as an expat. Today we're discussing East Meets West by Camilla Lee, which is an essay where this couple is exploring Japan specifically to go to a restaurant, except they can't find the restaurant. So they continue on searching. Hunger is making them cranky because that's what hunger does. So eventually they come across McDonald's and that's where they have lunch. And they never actually find the restaurant that they were looking for. I enjoyed this essay and I think that there are three things that really stood out to me. The first, that fear of getting lost. Oh guys, I I have a horrible sense of direction and getting lost is something that I regularly do on accident, not on purpose. Ugh, it's difficult. That's, that's the only way to describe it. And all I will say to anybody who goes to a new country or even to like a new city, it's okay to be afraid to get lost. Just don't let it hold you back. You know, if you want to go and explore some place, go and explore it. And if you want a nifty tip to help you for when those times you get lost, because we're human, it's gonna happen. Always know where one major point is in the city that you know well. So for me, it's always the train station. I always know where the train station is. And normally from the train station, I know to get where I'm going. So that's what you need to do and that will just save you so much time and effort because I cannot tell you how many times I've gone on walks in Eper and I've just got so turned around that it's like, I don't know where the church is, I don't know where the train station is, and I have no idea where the heck I am. So knowing where those like points of interest are helps me get unlost. I hope you find that helpful. Number two, it's things just not going your way. That can also happen a lot when you're an expat because you have a plan, you want your plan to go like this, and then it's like life. <laughs> There's nothing really that you can do. The only thing that you can do is control your reaction. You know, are you going to get upset because your plan didn't work or are you going to come up with an alternative? That's really difficult to do sometimes because if you have your heart set, for example, on going to a specific place or eating at a specific restaurant or experiencing something, it can be extremely disappointing when you don't get your way, especially for food. Cause I've had this happen plenty of times where we've gone out, Prince Charming and I, to go eat somewhere and it's like the restaurant isn't open or whatever reason and it's like I, I'm so hungry right now, red rum type thing, because you know, everybody gets cranky when they're really hungry. <laughs> and so there have been situations where it's like, oh, we can't go here. So we'll just, we'll go and experience something else. You know, sometimes it's not what you want, because I can't imagine being in a foreign country, wanting to go and try some authentic Japanese food and ending up at McDonald's was on even like a top thousand of somebody's list of things to do while they're living abroad. But you know, they made the best of a good situation and they still had a good time at McDonald's. So there's that. Number three is those moments where you unexpectedly find things that remind you of home or actually even find things that are from your home. Those moments are sort of like magical or they can be comical. In Deleuze, they have this like little top shelf of American treats. I know they're American treats because they have the American flag and they say American treats on them and I'm gonna have to buy them sometime to try them. They, they don't look appetizing in all honesty. Like for things that are American treats, I don't think I've ever seen them in America. I think they're just American for them because they're brownies and like chocolate chip cookies, which I guess are like American. I was like, don't, don't you guys know how to make chocolate chip cookies and brownies? Because if you don't, you guys are missing out. They're very yummy. I find those moments funny. Like I find it very amusing that things like McDonald's and KFC exist in Europe because I feel like those are the worst fast food restaurants that we have in the US and those are the ones that are exported. So I have a few questions for you guys. Have you ever gotten lost while you've been abroad? 
Have you ever gone out and sort of had a plan that went awry and you know what was your reaction? Were you upset about it or did you just sort of press on and think I'm gonna make it work? And have you ever gone abroad and found something that's supposed to be from your country that it's like this, this isn't how it is? And what was it and what did you think? Share that all in the comments below because I enjoy hearing from you guys and your stories make my day. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. The algorithm doesn't care as long as you interact with my video. Share this with your friends, family, and strangers on the internet because that helps support the channel. If you're new, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications, but come back on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays because that's when I make new videos and YouTube may or may not tell you. All my social links have been left in the description below for your convenience. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and I keep a blog. Be sure to check all that out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Toot scenes, my apple scenes. This tree has gotten so big and I know this because I've shot from here before and you used to be able to see the road and now you can't. <sighs> Stupid trees and growing. Boom.